siku jambo mahali popote ulipo ni matumaini yangu na yetu kama Dairy Networks ya kwamba unaendelea vyema. Now, on the journeys that we have been covering, uh, the Dairy Farm Start and the Dairy Farm Revamp strategies, um, I hope that it has been instrumental to you and to your farm. I want us to consider a very important aspect and today I want us to focus on the dairy business model and uh, in this one I want to look at it from remember you said dairy farming is a business I want to look at it what these areas that a farmer can make an extra coin from or what are these areas a farmer can I mean, maybe making an extra coin from diversification or maybe from specialization and in this case you build a business model around it and maybe it's something you can continue extrapolating extrapolating until you grow maybe you have three cows now you relay that strategy of a business model and you know the path that you want to to follow and before that i'll wish that you subscribe so that you can get notified whenever you upload the video and also like our facebook page and follow because there we are all equally much active and we normally share facebook uh, we normally share articles there we share short videos there and we also do live trainings there once in a while So on dairy business model, I want us to look at the product that the general product that we get in a dairy farm. We get three, four items from a dairy farm. We get milk, we get sale of live animals, and we get manure. And some of us think that dairy farming is therapeutic. So there's the therapeutic part of it. Now you can make money from a uh, therapeutic uh, part of the animal. Maybe you can breed some nice cows that are therapeutic and there are people who will take them to show, name them. Eh? So there are four major items. In these four major items, you have to look on your locality. Which one is selling more? And don't just look at it from, uh, from, uh, from the, lo the local locality. Look at it from the, 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 the entire country part of it. Look at it globally. For example, globally, uh, maybe let me start from locally um personally i'm a dairy farmer i've been selling my milk to dairy cooperative until i learned that i can sell directly to homestead and get more money by that time i realized that a dairy cooperative was giving us 40 shilling per liter but going to the homestead and go also to hotels i realized there's a more than 10 shilling increase now assuming that you're producing 200 liters and the market the demand is dictating more milk more milk more milk and the returns are so good would you still continue keeping a lot of the replacement stock the heifers would you still consider uh doing a lot of breeding in that the milk production competes with the breeding or maybe the milk production market is competing with the live animal sales so you build a business around that milk production area. This mostly uh, attracts the farmers who are in the urban and peri-urban areas. These are the farmers who can make a kill out of that. As I agree, they have their own share of uh, struggles like fodder. Maybe you own a big truck of land whereby you're even doing grazing or you're producing a lot of fodder. It makes a lot of business sense for such a person and maybe the milk prices are not that forthcoming. Maybe it makes a lot of sense for even to outsource well-bred calves at day seven and you maintain them very well because uh, uh, feeding is not a challenge. You have access to fodder. You sell them annually. Think of it as selling like 50 heifers in a year. And maybe you're selling at a premium price of 200,000, well, which I believe should be the market price target for all of us now do the 200,000 times the 50 heifers you can sell 
I don't want just to do 50, but I also drink maybe 10, drink 5, depending on your, 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 your target and also your financial might. So what am I trying to put across? If the strength of your dairy farm is in milk production, consider, like me personally, I have seen milk production can be a good venture for me. So I'm considering of doing up to 80% of my herd is lactating cows. And this one now gives me a big reway to push for those high revenue. Maybe your strength is in selling cows not selling cows or maybe there is a good market for you to sell cows think about the east african countries that are buying a lot of cows from our country in kenya think about uh, the uae there is a lot of interest of live animals from that angle maybe that is an area that you can explore the other one is the business around your locality when you are doing a video on fodder production we said you can provide you can grow fodder for your cows and also for your neighbors and of course you are doing it exemplarily well that it will give you more revenue maybe i have 20 acres but i only want to do five cows five cows can be easily su be supported by five acres of maize comfortably so the 15 acres i can grow more maize i can grow a lot of maize in the 15 acres and maybe even have a further contract with the farms in the peri-urban urban areas and even in the neighborhood in that i'm able to make an extra coin maybe you have the financial might this is an area of diversification maybe you have a financial might you can be able to buy a good chopping machine maybe for maize and then you can buy that chopping machine and you also extend hand to your neighbor it becomes another different source of revenue maybe you can value add your milk like what house of hope is doing in Sokimau. They are adding value to their milk. They are making yogurt. They are chilling milk. The chilled milk is a hot cake. They are pasteurized and chilled milk is a hot cake. Their mala is a hot cake. So explore that value addition. I don't want to use a very difficult term of value addition. Everyone thinks of processing. But it's as simple as adding value to your farm. Fodder, maybe therapeutic cows. You have bred nice looking cows. And people can stream in ask you a few questions and maybe you check them at a small fee it's a revenue to the farm nevertheless so think about that area this is a very important aspect i learned from house of hope that despite selling milk they are supplementing their milk sales with, uh, with a grocery there everything that is sold in that grocery comes from the farm how are they able to do that because they have mastered their market needs market for quality vegetables so there is so many ways you can build a business around your dairy farm and have a working business model that either you have specialized or you have diversified and in either way of specialization or diversifying you are making an extra coin until next time have a lovely moment remember to subscribe remember a dairy networks we offer services like dairy consultancy, dairy farm visits, super force kiwi nation, etc, etc, etc. We have so many services we offer dairy networks. Our contacts are provided there. Give us a call, give us a write an email to us, WhatsApp us, we will respond to you. Until next time, keep it safe.